Taurus, happy birthday. The transformation continues. We have a deep subconscious release, old programs. Now that you're understanding about yourself, old behaviors, ideas, perspectives that we're now letting go of. I think we've cleared out a lot of people. I think we've cleared out a lot of old ideas and maybe some opportunities that we've lost or um, new opportunities are coming, but there's a little bit of a delay because I feel like you're a little bit bored with your situation or you're just feeling like this is not good enough. Um, I want to change something. It can also be that up until now, you're now recognizing that you're going through these same cycles over and over and over and over. And now it's like, oh my God, I need to let this go. We have Scorpio energy here with the death card. Boom. We just had a full moon in Scorpio. Go take my workshop. It's really helpful. The link is in my bio. But like this is focusing on deep subconscious subconscious release so these are old ideas and with the three of wands reverse it looks like maybe up until now we had a vision that we were holding on to we really wanted something to work and now we're noticing that it didn't work we have a nine of swords here reverse so maybe don't like a hundred percent blame yourself um i do feel with this ten of swords though you're really now understanding how you maybe influence that situation or how you, um, maybe you want to establish better boundaries with how you interact with people. Maybe you're recognizing that not everything you thought you wanted up until now, you really want, or you're really capable of getting right now. It doesn't mean you can't, uh, sorry, it doesn't mean you can't grow and improve and learn new things. I just think that there's something about the cycle that now you're really understanding like, shit, like I kind of was really focusing and hoping that this would work out and it didn't, so now what do I do? Well, I see that with a Knight of Swords here, you could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy also, but this, this could be your behavior. It was a little bit impulsive or maybe reactive, or there's someone that you're dealing with and you're noticing like their behavior is really impulsive or reactive, and it's just like, I don't need that. With the Six of Cups reversed, oh, and the Ten of Cups reversed, there's like separation. Um, could be twin flames. It could be soulmate. It could be best friends, friends, agreements, contracts, whatever. But with a six of cups reverse and a 10 of cups reverse, I feel like there was a lot of emotion tied to this situation or to that relationship. Maybe there's actually kids involved or a lot of the inner child, a lot of old um, traumas or triggers, I think, maybe are still coming up or maybe uh, this situation sort of unfolded because there was something tied to old traumas from um, family dynamics or something that happened with either you being a kid or um, your kids. But like, there's just, there's something here that's like, I really, really valued this person or I really valued this connection. I really wanted something from this because you have, 16 cups altogether. So maybe the number 16 is important for some of you. Um, a, le a letter N is coming through for someone. But overall, it's like you need to let go. You need to clear out all of these old emotions. And how do you do that? You focus on prioritizing yourself. I have the Queen of Cups here also. Queen of Cups and the Seven of Wands reversed. So I feel like now is not a time for you to fight what you're really feeling. If emotions, energies, ideas, um, whatever is coming up, don't just push it down and pretend you don't see it. It's really, really important for you right now to figure out what you're feeling, why you're feeling that, what is triggering that. Is it your own traumas, old ideas, programs about yourself, who you think you should be? Like your Taurus energy, that's fixed earth energy energy. It's really hard to change your perspective. It's really hard to um, establish new behaviors and routines because what you do or what you've been doing up until now, it's kind of just on you. It's just like, oh, it's here. That's just what I do. That's how life works. And now I think you have an opportunity to see that life works differently. And that's amazing if you go with the flow of the change. But if you fight that change and you try to push it down and try to stop it because you want everything to stay the same. It's like with this 10 of swords and this nine of swords reverse, I feel like there's an energy here of like 
you're you're driving yourself crazy because you want to believe something, but I think on a soul level, you know it's not true. Like for example, you know, all people are bad. Um, I don't deserve love. I don't deserve abundance. Life is hard. And like, yes, of course I understand. There's like levels of privilege. There's like different, you know, factors involved in each of our unique situations. I understand that. I'm not saying that like life is always fucking butterflies and rainbows. Like I understand it's not, but life is not like a hundred percent of the time, always a fucking struggle, always a fucking fight, always bullshit. Like it's not. So we need to figure out how to release that idea or whatever these old ideas, these comments, these stories you tell yourself about other people, about work, about whatever. It's like, it's time to let that go. How do you do that? You connect with yourself on a soul level, not with the brain, not with the brain is telling me, telling me, telling me, telling. It's like, no, you need to feel it. Like when you take more time for yourself out in nature, everyone you meet out in nature, are they all fucking assholes too? Like, no, it's a different vibe because you're in a different environment and you're in a, a different mindset. It's like, there's a lot of rewiring your brain, of shifting your perspective, and a lot of opportunity to come. There's a lot of opportunity for growth. There's a lot of opportunity for money, for stable finances. You could also be getting money or um, resources or support from another person because this King of Pentacles could be another person who's willing to support you. Um, but I feel like it's really important for you guys to figure out how to like root um, down and just feel more like stable and secure with yourself because you don't want to rely on other people. Like a Taurus is like, no bitch, I'll do it myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will work all night, all day. And that's amazing because you have like that work, um, you know, ethic. But it's like, you also can ask for help. I'm sorry, but you don't know everything and you're not always right. And like, that's not only a Taurus thing, but Taurus energy, when you believe what you believe and you believe that, that's it. And it's like, no, like open yourself up to more possibilities, to more opportunities because you'll find more love, you'll find more joy, you'll find more people who want to support you. But if you're not willing to let those people close, maybe you're jaded or you feel, no, I'm always, I always get tricked. I always get cheated on. I always, you know, people steal from me or whatever. It's like, if you're constantly thinking that that will happen, well, bitch, you're gonna make it happen. You're going to attract that situation to you because you are a strong, energetic person. And Taurus can manifest whatever they want really quickly because they have a really strong belief about that situation. So when you believe something, then it triggers all of your emotions. And then when you're feeling the emotions, that is just energy in motion. I just talked about this in my podcast, Middle Ground. Go check it out. It's really good. Um, but like emotion, energy in motion. So it's like when you are feeling all of that emotion, that energy is attracting more of that similar energy. So like if you're pissed off and trust me, when a Taurus is mad, they're like, they're walking through. They're like, I'm here, bitch. Who's mad? I'm mad. And it's like, whoa. But when a Taurus is happy, they walk in and they're like, what's up, y'all, bitch? I'm here. It's, a ha it's like the best time ever because they're in a good mood and they're in a good energy and they radiate that out. Like you guys can control a room. You guys can influence huge masses. You can attract huge amounts of people. And it's like all of these people will come to you. But if you're bringing the wrong people because you're in a bad mood or you're attracting the wrong situations because you're thinking about the wrong things. It's like, I really feel, especially, yeah, bitch. Oof. The star, knight of wands, four of wands. I feel like now it's really important for you to explore, try new things, taste new foods. Like four of wands, celebrate something. Try to... And of course, like we have good days, we have bad days, and that's not unique 
to Taurus. Like we were all the same. I just, I think if you're surrounded by the right people, maybe some of you are connecting with family again or old friends. Um, maybe you're visiting, you know, back to the town that you grew up in or whatever. But like, it's going to be very healing for you. And this is Aquarius energy. It's thinking about how we can support the community, support the collective, because we're willing to accept support from them because it's an equal give and, give and take. It's a trade-off, right? So like, I think, yeah, we've got this seven of swords, six of swords. We've got this hangman here. Some of y'all have been lying to yourself, lying to other people. Maybe someone is stealing from you or you're stealing from another person. The seven of swords is also um, things that we're ignoring. So like these parts of ourselves that we know we need to change, but we want to ignore them because we believe that it doesn't need to change or we believe that life is just like that. Well, bitch, it's time to change. It's time to let it go because I want you to have more abundance. I want you to have more opportunities and options for love and friends and finances and expansion. And like, you want that. You on a soul level want that. Your soul wants that. Simple. But your human brain, your energetic buildup is like, tied to Taurus energy. So it's harder for you guys to let go of these old ideas, to let go of these old programs, to let go of even old people or situations. And like, of course, you're meant to meet people who, uh, you know, change your life. You're meant to experience the good, the bad, the ugly, but you're not supposed to hold on to everything forever. And Taurus, as a fixed energy, you want to hold on because you want security and you want stability and you want foundation and structure. But like, don't think that holding on to everything means that it's safe because it's not. And you're really, you're like taking away opportunities from yourself because you don't want to change something. So with this hangman and the six of swords, this is focused on like Pisces energy. That's 12th house, which means wrapping things up, um, clearing, um, cleansing. This is like on an emotional level. And that's what we were talking about before is that emotion. So like, how do you attract better things? You need to change your energy. Why? Because your energy will change your emotion and then your emotions will attract new things. So like, I've got the queen of wands here reverse. I think some of you also are maybe just losing motivation or you're just feeling like I fucking give up. I give up. I don't want to keep going. I don't want to keep doing something. And like, I think you need to just take a break. I think you need to just pause. Like we've got the three of cups here reverse as well. So maybe we're letting go of old friends, um, community members, or like social groups that we just like, ugh, like something is, there's a disconnect. There's a separation. You may also feel that you were tricked or um, whatever. It's just, it's drama that we don't need, right? Because you have opportunity here. You have so much opportunity. You have the nine of cups, nine of cups, six of wands, so much opportunity. But it's like you're not willing to accept it because you don't want to let go of the things that you think you need to hold, but you know on a soul level, you don't need these things. You don't want these things because you're really not finding true happiness. True happiness comes from expansion, opportunity, travel, excitement, new people, new experiences, new work, changing your perspective, learning more about culture, situations, whatever, gaining more perspectives, not just being like, it's my perspective, that's the only way, I'm stubborn. <laughs> Brr, my fucking horn. It's like, no, like don't be that kind of Taurus. You want to be the kind of Taurus that's like, I'm here to work, to work hard. I'm here to support other people. I want to chill. Like Taurians are so chill and they're so cool and they're so nice when they're in that good vibe. But if they're in that wrong situation and it could just be with the wrong person and you're like, oh, I can't give up. I can't give up on them. Well, if someone in the past gave up on you and you're like, why did you do that? You're going to now think I never would do that to another person. I'm never going to give up on you. But you sticking around is going to like take away other opportunities. You're going to miss it because like you've outgrown that person. It's time to let them go. It's time to release these old ideas. It's time to release these old traumas, etc. So 
I love you. Go take the full moon workshop. The link is in my bio. I will help you change all these programs. Release the bullshit. I will see you next month. Happy birthday, bitch.